Welcome to the Marshall News and Views show. I'm Elaine Conyers, and my guest today is Darren uh, Rand, who is the director of the um, Marshall Convention Visitors Bureau. And you've been around for about a year now, right? Yep, since last October. Last October. Yep. Just about a year. And uh, I have to say to our viewers, he has done a lot of work good work in that amount of time things are really moving along and uh and we've got you to thank for that because you've thank been you. out there and uh, uh especially i think working with the regional sports uh center to uh line up tournaments right yep when the, you think the red baron arena there okay i should have called it that i was just calling the whole thing there <laughs> yeah well then that's yeah. There is more to so, the sports complex right. than just the Red Baron Arena, yeah. but that'll be our main focus. Focus, yeah. yeah. And uh, so, uh, first of all, uh, remind us when does hockey season start and when does it does it end, and about how many tournaments do we think we would like to have here? Well, the great thing about being in Minnesota is hockey season never it really never starts ends. and ends. Okay, it's always okay. ongoing, and that's one of the biggest services that the Red Baron Arena will have is that it'll have ice year-round. Mm -hmm. So it'll be able to accommodate those groups, those kids, those individuals, those organizations that have a need for year-round ice that we okay. didn't, that okay. we weren't able to accommodate with. So right. that one side of the arena will have year-round ice and then the other side will have our convention and expo space yes. for five or six months out of the year. Okay, and then the, the other uh, times it'll be uh, used also for for hockey, right? Yep. So you asked about uh, tournaments, Elaine. Uh, right now, the Hockey Association does about eight tournaments a year currently. So um, we really don't look to add a bunch of extra tournaments at this point. Okay. Um, having eight tournaments already uh, is is a big task to yeah. to accomplish. Yeah. We, we are looking at having uh, maybe a sponsored, uh, a sponsored hockey tournament through one of our uh, main sponsors. That person, that company hasn't been identified yet. Okay. Um, but we've kind of laid out the groundwork for how we'd like to see that tournament go. Um, so that'll be one new tournament that we add. And then through our talks with uh, Minnesota Hockey, um, they have kind of asked if we'd be ready to take on some of their state tournaments in 2017. Okay. Wow. And we've said yes. yes. And they said, would you be able to take on two state tournaments at the Ooh. same time? Oh. And from from a logistical standpoint with the arena, that's really not uh, as big an issue as making sure that we have hotel space for everybody. Oh, yeah. Because we want to make sure that we can provide uh, uh, quality accommodations mm -hmm. for those teams that are coming in from northern Minnesota, southern Minnesota, eastern, western. Mm -hmm. So they're going to be coming in from all, all aspects of the state, oh, metro. Yeah. And uh, the two levels that they've identified are ones that they typically only hold in the metro area because okay. it's the it's the biggest teams in the state, the biggest okay. towns. Yeah. It's Edina, it's uh, Bloomington, Minneapolis. Those bigger yeah. communities have bigger hockey associations. Yeah. Um, they're going to allow us to hold that tournament here in Marshall and, and have those teams come out and visit now, our, our new Red Baron Arena. That's interesting uh, that they, they are willing to tra tra travel to Marshall to do this. That's amazing. Well, you know, you think about it when associations in this area, outstate Minnesota, um, sometimes that's the highlight of your season is traveling to different arenas, being able to take in, go to different communities and stuff. Okay. So. They're, they're receptive to There's it, that. and okay. the fact that we'll be able to provide them uh, a brand new state-of-the-art facility, um, yeah. it'll make it even easier for them to, to justify coming here. That is just amazing. I um, I have to tell you uh, a little uh, <clears throat> joke that uh, happened <laughs> that took place. Um, a few years ago, I had uh, two grandsons that uh, lived up in Maplewood, and they were both in hockey, and uh, we often went up to the Schwann's uh, Arena at yep. um, uh, in Blaine. Blaine, yes. And um, one of the times I went up there, I could hardly wait till they came up from the locker room, and I said, oh, you know what? We're going to build this. We're going to have two hockey arenas. I was so excited. 
And they just stood there and looked at me and they said, uh, you know, Nana, we've got eight here. <laughs> I went to the, uh, the association and I said, keep that in mind. Yeah. Because if it grows like we think it's going to, we're going to have to add, and they'd, of course they'd already thought about that. Yes, they'd have to build more, more uh, arenas, you know, to, in, to accommodate. Mm -hmm. And look at already we haven't even started, and and the Minneapolis, or the Twin Cities are coming to to us. Yeah, and that is really amazing. Yep, and you know, as as we speak or during this current hockey season, uh, there are already teams coming from Fargo. Brookings, oh. Rapid City, um, Lincoln, Nebraska, oh. Omaha. They, they come to this area already because they understand the quality hockey in yeah. Minnesota. Yeah. So it, it's not a big leap for people to uh, come from out of state. Sometimes yeah. it is a little bit tougher pulling those metro schools to come out here. Uh, yeah, I but, would think so. Um, it, it's, it happened already. It's happening, yeah. It's just great. Yeah. yeah. Now, you were talking about the hotel space. Uh, when will the hotel um, out in that area start, or have they started building? No, they haven't started building yet. They're still uh, trying to finalize what the agreement would be in terms of what's going to go on that land, who's going to build it. So okay. there's still still a bit of work to be done okay. on the backside before they can start building sure. something like sure. that. Sure, yeah. And then the one out at the uh, um, uh, mall, that, of course, that's, that pr project is on hold right now. Or it's slow, I should say. Yeah, not that, on hold. that one's, you know, uh, that one I, from my understanding, is a little bit farther down the road. Is uh, it? It's it's a little farther along than, than than the one at uh, at the Red Baron okay. Arena, so I I would anticipate that one would would start uh, would be open before, before the other one. Okay, would. yeah. Well, we'll uh, just probably uh, have to do like we've done in other uh, tournaments, send them to Redwood Falls and Granite Falls, right, until we get all set up. <laughs> yeah, you know I, that's that's obviously it's not ideal for no. us, but um, we'll rely on our area partners and our area communities to as we would uh, rely, we would help them out if they had a need to. So right. uh, building those relationships within the communities is yes. important. Yeah, that is great. That's wonderful. Well, you certainly have been busy. Yeah. Now, now uh, the, um, the, re, uh, the Red Baron Arena will open in uh, uh, June. That's what we've been hearing. Yep, but we're actually, uh, we have a planning group that will be getting starting, uh, I think, right after the first of the year. Uh, we're going to talk about the grand opening and the the program, how we're going to put that all together. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Kathy Lee is, is spearheading that group. Oh, is she? Yep. Okay. And uh, she'll she'll do a great job of getting us all together and and uh, getting some input, and then we'll we'll get some stuff put together. Yeah. And we've talked to uh, the Schwann Food Company a little bit. Um, they may have some resources that they can help us with uh, in terms of bringing some. Uh, big name people out or, or sports talent. Okay. Have them come out and be a part of the grand opening oh, through wonderful. some of their sponsorships. Yeah, great. Yeah, great. it should be a good, yeah. good fun deal. So then uh, the, uh, the the second arena, that when it's not being used for ice, uh, you'll have uh, conventions and stuff like that. So uh, have you lined up some of those? or? You know, we've, we've really kind of taken a, a soft approach on it just from the standpoint of we really don't have that exact timeline yet oh, when sure. the building will be open. Yeah. So everything's going to be kind of fluid this year. Sure. And part of the sponsorships that businesses will be able to uh, be a part of, it'll allow them access to the expo floor for a certain, you know, two or three days okay. out of out of our calendar year. Yeah. So I really want to be uh, cognizant of that and I don't want to tie up too many dates ahead of time right. where our our main sponsors who are going to be uh, you know paying paying significant dollars to be a part of this facility I don't want to go back to them and say hey this date's tied up right mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. so we also have to find out what we can do and what we can do well mm -hmm. so I the first year will be a little bit of a learning curve sure. for us oh, yeah. Um, and if we have those four or five sponsors and they each have uh, two dates to, to build around, you know, there's always set up and there's tear down. So mm -hmm. um, we really don't want to overstep yet sure. and, and yeah. book something and then not do it right. So mm -hmm. 
uh, we'll work with our sponsors. We'll we'll learn to do these events good, sure, and, and sure. We'll, we'll build from that. Yeah, that that sounds uh, great. Is there? Uh, do you know if there's any other plans for other buildings out uh, out there? I don't. Uh, uh, you know, that'd be a good question for Jeff Thompson. Jeff's kind of the facilitator for for the Schwann f uh, Food Company. Oh, okay. And uh, he's he kind of spearheads oh. the the development out there and the land sales. Okay. So. I would defer those questions yeah, well, to Jeff. Sure. He may be a good person to have <laughs> that's, on That's there. right, yeah. I don't think I've ever met him, but there's always, I can You'd get out there. You'd know Jeff if you saw Oh, him. okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> um, on, on Wednesday, we'll actually have the, the Schwann Food Company. Uh, they'll be in town, uh, Mike Smith and his crew, and uh, we'll be giving them uh, an updated tour of the Red Baron Arena. Okay. Yeah. And uh, we'll have the newspaper out there, too. Oh, and sure. So... You might be able to see some updates in the yeah. in the paper Good. here of how things are coming along out there. Never ceases to amaze me how uh, how much it changes from day to day, oh. even week to week. You know, yeah. it just um, oh, yeah. it's 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 fascinating. Right? Yeah. <laughs> when I was out there, they had the council and and uh, some of the people out there, and it was all dirt. Yeah. And uh, big mounds of dirt. <laughs> Try to get around all that it was very yeah. You won't find any more dirt inside. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, all the cement work is. Uh, I would say 98 percent of the cement work is done. Uh, both floors have been poured. Uh, the city has done a nice job with the time elapsed videos. Uh, Alex oh, and his good. crew they came sure. out and set up the cameras and yeah. and got that all filmed for us and uh, just an, an ex a, a large number of views and, and yeah. shares on yeah. that video. So but, it's really been great. Yeah. The amount of how social media can really help you with stuff like That's that right. and getting exactly. the word out. And then also it's such a good thing to have as far as history is concerned too. Yeah. I find that, you know, a lot of uh, businesses sometimes say, say, oh, I wish we would have taken more pictures as we were building and see how the yeah. progress went. So that's good. You thought of that. Yep. Another big undertaking that the, the Convention Visitors Bureau is taking on right now is we've really tried to be uh, more active in the tourism side of things from, okay. from the southern Minnesota standpoint. Okay. Uh, the, the CVB really wasn't very active uh, in previous years. Right. And so we've really taken a, a proactive uh, step and really gotten involved in, in m the marketing of Marshall just right. from a, a generic standpoint, yeah. not so much just from sports or, or certain uh, yeah. avenues, but just Marshall and Southwest Minnesota yeah. as a whole. So we've really uh, taken uh, great steps to be a part of that. And great. Um, a lot of the literature that was out there previously really had no mentions of Marshall because they weren't active and they weren't doing their part to uh, to be a part of that. Yeah, so yeah. we've really gotten re-engaged with that and uh, there'll be some real good. real good travel information coming out sure. with, with Marshall yeah. being a part of that. Can you give us a clue as to what some of, some of the things that you're you're really emphasizing? Um, yep, we've we've really taken a, a a great look at Memorial Park. Oh yes, um, it it is it is a standalone feature. Yeah. There's no other places like it yeah. in in Minnesota in the Midwest yeah. to be able to have uh, that World Trade Center uh, beam there. Yes, yes. Um, it's it really sets uh, Marshall apart from any other community, totally. and uh, also. Uh, Brawl Brothers having yes. having yeah. a brewery uh, in in Marshall is, right. is a great feature. Uh, we also have one of the best uh, golf courses in the area, oh, so we've okay. taken steps to to highlight that yeah. and and really you know, get the message out about how nice of a uh, course the Marshall mm -hmm. uh, Camden Trail. Another great feature, right. the yes. fact that that's complete now. Yeah, um, we've started some conversations with Chad at the bike shop about. Uh, Maybe spearheading a, a fat tire bike race. Oh, yeah. So sure. Lots of lots, <laughs> lots of things of like that in the works. <laughs> uh, we're trying to work with SMSU to uh, engage their students more in the community. Um, Good idea. Getting them off campus, getting them yep. downtown. So we had Good some idea. some meeting, preliminary meetings about that. Sure. Sure. We're, Wonderful. We're always uh, there's things always going that's on right. at the CBB. That's right. That's right. <clears throat> And don't forget about the cultural end of it, or the arts and culture. Yep. And we've got, uh, you know, with our art murals on, on the buildings downtown. And don't forget Mrs. Whitney standing there waving. I can see her from my front steps. Oh, can you really? Yep. 
No, it's a beautiful statue. <laughs> it is. Um, yeah. And it's, so it's one good. of only, I think, five women statues in the state. Actually, seven. Seven. Yeah, seven. Yeah, and that's really something, you know, that women haven't been recognized uh, much before. Yeah. And uh, so, I, you know, I thought it was really great that we could get, uh, um, get the money raised so that we could uh, honor that woman that she... Yep. Uh, it wasn't just that she named the town, she had to cook that meal, you know, for 250 uh, railroad men. And when I had took students through the, um, through the museum and I said, and they didn't have a high V back then. No. <laughs> she had to send guys out with shotguns. and They didn't have a red owl back then either. Nothing, nothing. <laughs> they had to go out and kill the animals to, so she could yep. cook them. <laughs> yep. Anyway, so I think... Uh, I think that we've got a lot to offer, and uh, in, in we certainly have with sports, and we're very proud of that, and we're very happy with that. But we also have some cultural things that are growing, Yep, too. And, and to that point, uh, one of my new board members that's coming on uh, January 1st is Carol Purrington. Yes, yeah. So she'll make a, she'll have a, she'll add a, a good depth to our CVB yep. board, and uh you know, keep us posted on right. certain things. And I know she's very active with, with the Mayfac with, with and, yeah. and, and, and that stuff. And we're always working with, with the uh, County Museum, with Jennifer mm -hmm. there. Uh, we try to get behind all their promotions sure. and that's good. Uh, we tried to help sponsor the tour of homes and stuff oh, like sure. that. So, Great. you know, we really, we don't really, we don't always focus on hotels and overnight stays. We, we look at uh, what, is best for Marshall yeah. and the businesses in Marshall. Yeah. So, if it's promoting uh, single, you know, one day events, mm -hmm. we'll we'll help out with that sure. stuff too. If it if we can look at it and justify it and say people are coming to town for this, yeah. then we'll get behind it and help yeah. promote it. That's great. That's great. Well, we're we're very proud of all the work you're doing, and it's so uh, wonderful to see all of this taking place. And uh, I came here um, many, many years ago, and it was a completely different town than we've got <laughs> now. <laughs> Very conservative, and and uh, just hanging back. And and uh, I know I mentioned to Cal one time, and he was on the show that that uh, uh, the small towns around Marshall were always jealous of Marshall. Oh, Marshall gets everything. Well, not that we were really doing anything, but yeah. <laughs> but now uh, I think with the chamber um, emphasis on the area the yep. Marshall area, uh, people uh, feel a part of it, too, and, and that's good. They work here for most part and, and shop here, and, uh, and they, they like uh, uh, being included, so to speak. So. And I think it really speaks to the, the synergy that starts at the top of Marshall, and I'd start with Ben mm, and, yes. and, and the city council. You guys yeah. do a great job of working together and community services works together yes. and the chamber yep. and economic development everybody's yep. working together yes. for that common goal and and growth is such yes. a contagious thing and yeah. when you can see uh bits of growth people really get on board with yes. that yeah and that's really what brought me to marshall and what, what sets marshall aside from other communities is you don't always have that that working uh relationship yes. yeah. yeah and the and cal always talks about the partnerships and yeah. there it really does exist here and it's really unique and i think that's why marshall is growing at the rate yeah. that it is whereas a lot of communities in minnesota that are that size are not growing mm -hmm. and some of them are kind of stuck in the mud yep. and yep. whether it's the city administrator the council or the chamber there's always a little bit of infighting and yeah. When you have everybody pushing that rock, yeah. uh, it, it really helps. Exactly, exactly. So, um, and that's exactly, you know, what I tell people often, too, is, is the combination there of leaders that we have right now is just tremendous. Yeah. And uh, so it's, uh, it's exciting, and we will uh, certainly see more growth continue, and that's, that's going to be wonderful. Yep. yep. We sure plan on it. Yep. Uh, I have had some people say to me, uh, well, you know, uh, you've got the industry, you've got this, you've got that, but you don't have a lake. <laughs> <laughs> and I say, wait a minute, it's the Marshall area now. We have a lake at Cottonwood and one at Ballot. That's right. <laughs> so, you know, so. And I come from a community that had five lakes running oh, in between wow. it. You know, Fairmont had uh, sure. one of those things. It's a great feature for them, yeah. and, and they 
they need to do yeah. more to build out that feature. But yeah. uh, it, it was one of the things that I struggled with with coming to Marshall right away is, oh, there's there's no lake in town. You, oh, know? Really? you don't have the beaches you and you don't get to see the boats and stuff. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> like you said, there there's water around that's here. Right, that's so right. Yeah. If, it's, if it's water that you seek, then it's yeah. out there to find. Yeah. I went to Glen one day and uh, said, how about taking all these ponds that we have and forming one big lake? Well, I guess that doesn't work either. <laughs> they're, too, they're not deep enough and right. all that stuff. <laughs> yeah, and one of our local communities, Redwood Falls, they're, they're struggling with that right now with, uh, with their main lake in town. They want to they dredge that lake and make it, oh, make it deeper so I didn't, to promote um, sure more activity and yeah. in return that'll lead to more tourism sure. so sure. i hope they get their project that's, up and running and that's right it's just be another thing for people to do around here too yeah, if they exactly, want exactly exactly not so, everything has to happen in marshall no no that's right that's what you i know. exactly it's marshall so, area and we can right. go outside outside of town to do yeah. all those things <laughs> so so uh well uh you got any ideas uh, for a way out there in the future after we get get done with this particular you know project. you'd always like to see that what the next yeah. thing is coming yeah. down the line um, right now we really need to focus on what we have yeah. the task at hand yeah. getting the budget set finding out what our revenue streams are going to be um, what our expenses are going to be sure. so there's a lot of unknown that'll still happen between now and and uh, June um, you know I, I I would love to tell everybody when you come out to the Red Baron Arena that this will be a finished project, but it'll always be a working project. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think that keeps it from being stagnant. There's mm -hmm. always going to be some things that we add to it as the budget comes in, as the tax that the community mm -hmm. voted for, as that grows. Right. Um, as more people come to town, it's, it's kind of a trickle-down effect. Yeah. Yeah. So the more people we bring, the more tax we collect, the more we can look at doing with with the Red Baron Arena yeah. and the, uh, the the new youth baseball softball fields, and mm -hmm. has brought that up, we can talk about that a little bit too. Um, those will come online in 2017. Those won't be ready yet for 2016. So um, those will take a whole summer yet oh, to, to nurture and okay. grow and and. Uh, I was thinking maybe two of them would be available because they put up the lights and. No, nope, no, nope. and then we'll, but there's we'll wait till we'll wait till twenty the spring okay. of twenty seventeen before those will open okay. up. Because there's there's a lot of process there, isn't there? Is with uh, uh, on the ground itself. Yeah, different you know, things that have to be put in there. Some communities um, would like to try to open those if they had those. They'd like to open them sooner. Yeah, but it's very important to let. Uh, those fields mature, mm -hmm. let the grass grow, yeah. level them out, you know, work out the, the kinks, the the bumps, mm -hmm. um, so we have a real quality playing surface yeah. when yeah. when that time comes. Sure. Yeah, we've gone out there uh, with uh, with Glenn a few times and watching the the progress, and and um, I didn't realize before how long that that takes because, like you say, you have to get let the grass grow. You can't. Yeah. There's no way you can get that to grow faster. Right. right? It'll take a few seedings. Yeah. Uh, take some aeration. Uh, there's water out there for mm -hmm. it, so some fertilizer. Mm -hmm. Get them nice and green and nice and plush. And yeah. Everybody yeah. have a good experience when they come that way. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's um, Marshall is, is uh, as I've said so many times, has always been a regional center, and now it really, really is continuing to, to be that, and uh, that's that's wonderful. And uh, I think that we've got such a, uh, you know, people planned ahead, and we've got such a nice entrance into town now with um, <clears throat> on the um, uh, arena, the Bread Baron in the high school side with the with the uh, uh, water. Shaped yep, the ponds, in, in Minnesota, uh, pond, Minnesota pond, with yep. the uh, um, fountain coming up or Marshall, mm -hmm. and then at the uh, SMSU, SMSU side too. Yeah, with the that new, was, the with new the, Mustang. The, and yeah, the, that that the is just yeah. wonderful. And then don't forget the uh, the pedestrian walkway coming into town. Oh yes, uh, how beautiful that is! Yeah. And how nice that is! Yeah. And uh, now that that's getting finished out, uh, 
when the, when we start decorating that for Christmas or Fourth yes. of July or yeah. whatever the occasion may be, it'll just really a nice feature yeah. coming into yeah. town that direction. That's right. And we have the new liquor store, which is a beautiful yeah, new feature it, yeah. coming in from that direction. Yeah, right. So, <laughs> yeah, and then uh, then we've got that uh, pedestrian bridge, like you say too, that that. Uh, that's it's really amazing, and it's it's quite an entrance in, if, to town from that side too. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Not to mention what it does for safety in terms of letting oh, yeah. people cross the road uh, in a safe, yeah. safe way. So yeah, yeah. Lots it's, of lots of easy easy sells yeah. for us here at Marshall right. to say yeah. why people should come to Marshall and why businesses should come to Marshall. Yeah, that's right. So. You don't have to stretch things. No, no. <laughs> you don't have to get too creative. No. <laughs> you have all this stuff laid Start out right for there, you. Yeah. It's just a matter of. Uh, getting the information yeah. into the hands of people. Yeah. And uh, I think that, that you're really happy to be here, too. I am. I'm yeah. excited. I, it, uh, like I said, it was, it, was, it was an easy decision for me to come to Marshall yeah. when I saw how hard everybody was working together yeah. and uh, how it's nice having the yeah. college here and yeah. how the partnerships work with the college, the high school, the city, and just look to keep mm -hmm. uh, building on that. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes, you know, the city has uh, tried to, has had to look forward and some, sometimes take some chances to develop oh, sure. something. And especially with the with the college here, I think about how, how that was, uh, Redwood Falls was really vying for that and people thought, well, that's closer to the city and, you know, all that stuff. And, uh, but you know what Marshall did? They went out and they bought that land and they put in the infrastructure. Now that was taking a chance. Yep, for but sure. But we got it. We got That's it. right. And because when it come right down to it, well, Marshall's ready. <laughs> you know, at the time, maybe it didn't seem like that big a decision, but no. it's those kind of decisions that you look back on 20, 30, 40 years later yeah. and you go, how momentous of occasion that exactly. was. Exactly. And that's exactly. where we're at with, with the Red Baron Arena. Yeah. It's gonna be a, a big thing that big, people will be able to look thing. back on. Yep. Exactly. So, yeah, and then how di how uh, different we have uh, viewed things and how we have raised money. Before, when we wanted the, the university to come here, many of us went out at door to door and we collected $2. <laughs> That's, back then, it was nothing, but it got people excited and talking about it and looking at the possibilities. That's right. So, <laughs> sometimes you have to do things like that to get everybody on board and it's really been uh, been exciting with all of this yeah. well we're certainly happy that it's a bit uh, half you're hour here already? yes Gosh. <laughs> yeah it goes fast we'll have to have part 2 sometime oh, oh yes we'll have you certainly <laughs> was there anything else you wanted to mention no, before we go we're, off here I, I have to slow down otherwise we will have to tape a second section and yeah, that's have, right. have uh, another, another segment another follow up yeah and that would be okay, too. I know. I... <laughs> well, we certainly will have you back, and I just want to thank you again, uh, not only for coming today, but for all the, the work that you're doing for Marshall. We're very pleased and very happy with it. So, well, thank you. The thank pleasure's you. mine. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Bye.